Hi everyone, this is Coach Lana checking in and today is day 18 of 31 days to eating cleaner. And today we're going to talk about inflammation, anti-inflammatory diets, anti-inflammatory foods, and we are going to barely graze this. So take the information, apply it for one day, one week, one month, the rest of your life. Dig deeper into it, do some investigation. A lot of the stuff we're going to talk about today, we've actually touched on some of the nutritional information in other, in other videos, so I'm not going to dig real deep in this. I'm just going to give you a, just a little touch off the top. A lot of this information is copy, coming from drweil.com, W-E-I-L.com. I love his information. He is a great resource on aging, aging well, and anti-inflammatory um, diets. So I'm going to check my notes to make sure I stay on track because I tend to talk, 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 if you haven't already noticed. So part of, you know, cleaning up our diet is getting educated. So we'll talk about inflammation. Now, inflammation is normal to the body. and It's actually very healthy. If you get an injury, you get an, inf you know, an injury, um, get an illness, your body's going to cause inflammation to get that body part, the nutrition it needs to get well. But as we age... Um, we tend to get a little, a little more inflammation than we need. And there are a lot of foods that cause inflammation. So we're getting swelling, we're getting a little attention to bo the body that the body doesn't need. And it can cause things like um, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and a lot of age-related diseases. So we're all getting older. Doesn't matter if you're in your 20s watching this, we're all getting older. So anti-inflammatory diets really helpful. So things that cause inflammation, what do you think? What do you think? What kind of foods do you think? Things we've already been talking about that we need to avoid. Processed foods, fast foods, um, the fat in meats and poultry um, have certain agents in it. High glycemic load foods, high fructose corn syrup. So, and that's, God, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Look it up online. Look up inflammatory foods. You'll find a big, big list. We've talked about a lot of these already, so we're not going to get into detail of other um, things that these foods cause, other illnesses and problems they cause. Anti-inflammatory foods help to fight off inflammation. Um, that's what it says. Anti-inflammatory fight inflammation, right? So they fight things like preventing cancer, heart disease, and some of the things I said it could lead to. So examples are whole grains, beans, sweet potatoes, berries, cherries, apples, Lentils, legumes, seeds, nuts, um, wild Alaskan salmon, of course I'm going to put some meat in there, <laughs> sardines, and the list goes on. So what do you need to do? Look them up. Look them up. Look up anti-inflammatory foods. Go to drwill.com and look. Look it. So it's good to be aware of what we're eating. We're trying to eat healthier, and the more anti-inflammatory foods we can put into our diet, the better off we're going to be. So I challenge you to pick a, your foo, a few of your favorite foods, your common foods that you eat. Look them up and see if they end up on the inflammatory, anti-inflammatory, or maybe they're somewhere in between where they're null and void. It doesn't matter either way. All right? Thank you so much for watching. I really, I really do appreciate it. I really do. I love sharing information with you guys. It's my pleasure and my joy. This is Coach Lana, and I'm out of here.